Okay, welcome everybody. Um, I recognise some of the faces from the last session, but not not all of the faces. But you're you're all very welcome. Um, we actually have a really amazing array of speakers, and um, for those for those of you in the room, on my right is Shanta Devaraja, who many of you will know. Shanta was the lead author of the two thousand and four. World Development Report on services, um, and until recently was um, chief economist for Africa in the World Bank, is now chief economist for the Middle East um, and North Africa. And Shanta has a d distinguished career in the bank as an, uh, and as an economist, and uh, I think also as a global thought leader on the, the issues that we're discussing today. So Shanta, you're, you're very welcome. Um, on my left, in the, in, the, in the room is Marta Foresti, who's the head of our politics and governance program, who um, is going to be speaking last. We, we have two speakers um, online, indeed on screen, on, on, on screen. Uh, one in Delhi, and Rukmini Banerjee. Rukmini, it's uh, great to see you. Can you wave to us? Hi. Um, um, R Rukmini also has re really, uh, I think, an extraordinary career. And she, she's known best, I think it would be fair to say, for her work in Pratam, and, uh, which is one of the largest NGOs in India, very prominently involved in education. And I, I think, in a way, what is really distinctive about Pratam's work, and indeed about Rukmini's, work is that it combines uh, very strong analytical work assessing learning achievement in India, it, filling what was a huge gap in the market, actually, in a very robust and rigorous way. And Rukmini has been one of the leaders of that, um, of that work, which is published annually in the annual status of education report, which covers all, all, all states um, in India. But Pratam is also centrally involved as a practitioner and deliverer, in a, in a sense, working with some of the most marginalised groups in India, <coughs> developing innovative approaches to service delivery in, in education. The other speaker that we have online, um, I don't know if we can connect him right now, can we? <laughs> ah, uh, John, you're, you're audio only. We, c we can't see you, but uh, John... Hello. Hi, John. Hi. Um, I, I, have, I have my video on. Uh, greetings, everyone. I shall... Great. Um, it must... Well, I mean, John, John is one of those people that um, really hardly needs introdu <laughs> introducing, actually. I mean, people have written whole books about John and his extraordinary career in Kenya, and there's some great stories in that book, which um, I'm sure John will ch share with you if you ever happen to be passing by in Nairobi. But he's currently CEO of Inuka, which is a non-government organization involved in governance issues work in, in Nairobi. But I, I think John has really been a leader in Kenya, and also globally, in working on anti-corruption. Um, both as a reformer in government and as an activist and an academic outside of government. Um, actually, one of the things that I, I also know about John is that he's, he, he used to be an amateur weightlifter. Is that correct, John? <laughs> that, that, is, that, is, that is true, Kevin. I, I hadn't expected well, that particular part. Uh, I, I couldn't resist the opportunity, and um, you know, John and I have used the same gym for many years. Um, but um, anyway, you're, you're, you're all very welcome, and it, it's a really, uh, I think, you know, extraordinary group of people that, um, that, that we brought together. Um, the, the running order is that basically each of the speakers is going to speak for around um, seven minutes, with a three-minute supplementary following a question by me. Um, if you go over to 10 minutes, I won't ask you a question, so that may be incentivizing you to run over. Um, but uh, I'd, I'd like to start with uh, Rukmini. And Ru Rukmini, I, you know, the, we, we had a session 
earlier in which we were exploring the role of politics and power relationships in facilitating or hindering equitable service delivery for the poor. Um, I mean, really, this is something you work on in your, in your day job in India. And you know, we'd be very interested, I think, to hear about your work with Pratam and what you see as some of the, you know, the, the, the big constraints holding back moves to quality education and equitable provision in the education sector in India? 